Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about voltage drop in a series circuit. So we talked about in previous videos about the Ohm's law solving methods for series and parallel, but for series circuits, we can figure out the voltage drop for individual resistors. All right. So if you haven't gone back and look at those videos, please do so. All right, so here we have a basic circuit with four resistors. All the resistors happen to be the same value. Again, uh, this is Ohm's law, E over I times R. So we're just gonna take those values uh, that are already known. Uh, we have three amps, we have 12 volts, and the resistance total is just a matter of adding up all of these resistors together. So E is gonna be 12 volts. We're gonna put that on top. I is the intensity. Okay, we're going to put that here, and then the total resistance, the resistance total, is just an addition of all four resistors. So if I add all those up, I get four ohms. And to go back and check ourselves, that's the cool thing about math, three amps times four ohms is 12 volts. So again, we just did a quick crash course in Ohm's Law, but what if we did that individually for the individual resistors. So what if I take these numbers and just focus on this resistor right here? So we'll use resistor four. So I already know that the amperage through the circuit is consistent and it's gonna be three amps no matter where I measure it, okay? So if I use Ohm's law, so I'm gonna draw a blank solving circle right here, okay? And just plug these two numbers in. So if I take three amps, because that's where our intensity goes, we have a one ohm resistor, okay? Because R4 is one ohm. If I take three amps times one ohm, that's three volts, all right? So now we have a three volt drop across this resistor, okay? Now, if we go back and do that for the other three, the numbers are gonna be the same. So all of the voltage drops are the same because all of the resistance values are the same, all right? And then we'll even take that a step further. What happens if we were to add up all the voltage drops? So again, this is gonna be a three volt drop, this one's gonna be a three volt drop, and that one's gonna be a three volt drop. So all of these are gonna consume three volts. If I add all of these up, what do we get? What is three times four? That's our 12 volt supply. All right, it's magic how that works, right? Okay, now let's go one step further and let's change our numbers a little bit. Actually, we'll just redraw it here. Okay, so that one was kind of easy because our numbers were all the same, but what if we run into an instance where the resistance values are different? Okay, so again, we'll still call this resistor one, resistor two, resistor three, resistor four, and let's throw some different numbers here. Again, we'll call this one a one just to make life easy. And what if this one is a half ohm? Okay, and then this is a one ohm, and this is a half ohm. So the total amperage is four. We have 12 volts in the circuit, and if I add up all the resistors, I can do it this way. I can use Ohm's law using these two numbers, but since the numbers are already provided, we know that we have a total of three ohms. Okay, so let's plug three ohms with how many amps? Remember, like we said in the other problem that the amperage is the same throughout the circuit. So if four amps leave the battery, four amps are going to return to the battery, okay? So four amps in the circuit. So again, let's focus on resistor four, okay? So we're gonna use Ohm's law. So we're gonna go back to our blank solving circle, okay? The resistance is 0.5 ohms. Oops, put that in the wrong spot. 0.5 ohms, okay? And then the amperage, we said whatever leaves the battery returns to the battery, that's four amps. So four amps times half an ohm, that's two volts. That means that this resistor consumes two volts, okay? Well, if this is a half ohm resistor, that one consumes two volts, okay? And then if we do the same thing for these, Okay, the amperage stays the same, series circuit, but now I'm gonna put in one ohm because we're using resistor three. So four times one is four volts. So that means this has a four volt drop. The other one ohm has a four volt drop. 
Now if I go back and look at my voltage drop, 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2, if I add all of that up, what does that equal? It equals our source or our supply voltage. Okay, so uh, look forward to future videos. We're going to do some videos on uh, the different solving methods for series and parallel. Okay, and we'll also cover the laws. All right, so go back and look at our previous videos, and we will see you next time.